All right, here we go. Record or editing a video in Lightworks. We're going to do. Which one was it? Waterborne Pathogens. Not because it sounds the most interesting, but because it is the shortest video I have left to edit. So I just drag it in. Drag it into the log tab, go over to edit, throw it down here. It starts loading, you can see here. And then you'll get more details like the sound file. And there you go. Now you can see the sounds. All right, first thing is to just start rolling until I actually do something interesting. All right, here we go. Oops. Click off of this. It always happens to me. After you've loaded in, click off of it so it's no longer highlighted. Then you can use the delete key as a shortcut to make a cut. Then you make sure the tracks are synced. Auto track sync. Drag that. Throw it away in there. Fine, whatever. Do, 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 do. Probably zoom in a little bit. Control, scroll. Okay, I wrote the title. Then I kind of stand there for a second. So. I'm always trying to make these shorter, so I delete there. What I can do is right click that one. I used to do different speeds depending on how s what size it is. Now it's just always a thousand percent to speed it up. Hold your mouse over like this to make this kind of cut and just scoot it up a little bit. While you're doing this on the left, that image is where the last scene ends and then the right is where the new scene begins. So now we can test it. Still a gap. Zoom in. Still a gap. I want to zoom in some more so I can like make these better adjustments. You really you want to get the right scale that you know what kind of space looks like. A lot of space. All right, and then we listen. See, there we go. Messed up. Right there. We're gonna cut that out. We can either I used to like delete and then drag that out. Control Z. Control Z. But now what you can do, as long as you know where that spot is, uh, you can also just grab this and go to the through to the next gap there, and then. Okay, we're talking hydroponics, so let's talk about possible waterborne pathogens, pathogens in the nutrient solution, living and potentially contaminating your crop. All right, finish talking. Hit delete. Scroll out. This is where I like to be. Scroll in. That I can make these fine adjustments, and I can tell you know things get pretty close before they met, or before, or for for it to sound good. Scroll out, blast along down here. Anything that's just not needed, like I made a couple. See, I made a couple test lines. Erase it. Don't need any of that. Get rid of that. Drawing, drawing, drawing. Filling it in. Do do do. Trying to make it look like something, you know. Okay, so I stop drawing here, and I start doing a bunch of like personal scratch, you know, adjustments, personal scratching, touching yourself, that kind of thing. It's not what you want, so we'll just get rid of all of that. We'll zoom back in to bring this in tight. Zoom out a little bit, make sure we have this one. Speed that up a thousand. Uh, leave all these gaps right now. You can close them across. Like right now, I can close close this gap. Close this gap. And now if I zoom all the way out and go all the way to the left, I'm at the beginning again. Um, but it's just more efficient to save all those to the end. And I'll show you after I make a few more cuts. Messing up already. Listening to this, seeing if this is a good chunk of audio, because it's all about like the audio mostly. Trying to do a good job while you're while you're, while you're there recording, you're trying to be a good actor, be a good presenter, looking at the screen, not like right there. So like I'm going off. So I'm st All right, so we'll stop there, delete that. This is still pretty good. We'll tighten it a little bit more. Is this already sped up? Yes, okay, good. Um, all right, so I had a mess up right here in the beginning, but the rest of it's still good. So There we go, so that's where it is. And boom, the next one.
next time I start speaking. Okay. Zoom out again a couple times. When do I do something useful? We can watch me draw things. Don't want to watch me adjust my collar and hair. Right, right about there. Delete to make a cut. And then we'll, da, 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 da. we'll skip to when I'm over here. We'll just throw that out. Speed, speed this up. Writing, that's all fine. Okay, start talking in here. We could break these pathogens down and okay. Sometimes this little blip means I coughed, or this sound could be like, and, and, like a, a false start, you know. Um, but it seems like I was just going, so I already sped this one up. Then I'll speed this one up. Uh, normally, honestly, that uh, I did that out of sequence. I smoothest I think is to go until I'm back to normal speed, then speed everything up behind it, because it's more obvious. You can, but you can tell when they're like, you know, when it's a long gap of space. You need to speed that up, cut it out, uh, and then when there's no talking, of course, like you're you should be doing something there. Okay, so what happened? You can control. You can click drag to highlight certain clips. Um, move them around if you want um, versus moving one piece. I could click, click, move both. Uh, again, these gaps don't matter right now because you can do something. Watch. Um, remove, right click, remove gaps, and it takes out all the gaps. So you just wait till the very end to do all that. Um, this means the track's kind of audio out of sync. I'm ignoring it because it's under a compressed track, a sped up point of the track. Uh, usually that's not good. So another reason to kind of keep your edits simple, like I try to do all my cuts and removals and speed ups without doing much other timeline editing, keeping these tracks synced. And then at the end of it all, then we'll, we'll do some audio editing as well. Just making sure all that audio go is good, and I know this part needs to go. Boop. Long gap and the cough. Don't bother with the transition anymore, nobody cares, it's fine. That's fine, nobody cares. Um, Alright, let's see. So we'll just skip a little bit of this. Boom. Right. If you uh, have both of them highlighted, like with that eye beam kind of look, then you're just sliding the cut, but you're keeping all the footage. If you go to the one side, either this backward C or forward C, then you're actually removing that bit. So you can see on the top the the right hand screen stays the same because that's always when the that footage is going to come in. The left one goes away because what I'm doing is I'm cutting out this point where I'm just like sitting there waiting to bring the pin out instead of just starting with the pin out. It's little but it adds up across, you know, like this is what 102 106, I'm cutting like four seconds out. They add up. We'll look at how long this was before and after. All right. Not to be testing for pathogens. And I stopped writing. People are, there's nothing happening anymore. People don't want to watch. Instead of, instead of test, you're not typically testing for pathogens in your water. And so it doesn't really matter which of these might be in there. Instead, you're carrying out good best practices to minimize the chance of transmission, to reduce the chance that they live and propagate in, in your nutrient solution. Okay. So again, I'm having a problem like sticking to the point and looking at the camera the whole way through. So that's some stuff that I'll note for myself. Uh, up here, you know, these false takes, they suck. <laughs> They're annoying. Instead of test. But being able to reset and restart 
is important. Um, we'll just get rid of that. Um, now nobody even knows that I had all those mess ups, but you have to be able to like start fresh on, even though you keep messing up, even though you're being like, Yeah, right? Like, you have to reset. You can't come into it being upset that you messed it up, it's like, you know, however many times in a row. You can't let anybody know that this is your seventh take. But then, if you can, you know, be cool, let it, not let people know it's your uh, one, two, three, fourth take, we get rid of it. We speed this up. We're back to go. Boom. What's happening here? Um, I'm done talking, I'm just scratching, being uncomfortable. All right, so we'll, we'll pop this out, just get rid of it. I don't wanna try and like roll the footage down to that end, just cut it away. Okay, writing, writing, ba ba da ba. Finish algae. And here I just kind of go off screen, to cough and something, itch my mustache. All right, let's start talking. So we'll pop that down to where I start talking, and we will speed this up again. Or things that might be in your water. Now, of these two categories, these are the most common things that might be in your water, E. coli, salmonella, listeria, and less commonly, potentially, parasites that can inhabit the human body. Or plant pathogens sometimes I'll remove this gap but you know like don't want to get caught up in it in this being a constant delivery because by the time this is all squeezed together um, this could be you know just a constant talking at you so like give your you had to take a break me the person recording you know like give your audience a chance to take a break they've been listening it's a <laughs> we're almost at the two minute mark especially after we take those cuts out we'll be back at like 140 or something so just give them a break just give them a little break or plant pathogens from Pythium and Fusarium very common a lot of uh, harmful nematodes as well as algae now again you're not typically testing for any of these pathogens I mean algae you're going to be able to see if that's building up but otherwise you're not really testing for any of these explicitly um, you can but generally, instead, the focus is on the best practices to reduce possible transmission, uh, to keep your solution clean so that bees don't depress your crop yield, and to reduce transmission so that bees don't get your workers or your consumers sick. And so. Okay, I kind of lose that point. This is important to know. Obviously, I'm going to get. I'm obviously probably going to just stop at that, but I kind of go trailing off. So, so like I'll go down here, see if I pick up the point again. This is just some noise. A simple and incredibly common. No, I don't. So make sure I take, cut this so out. And it's a cut, not a speed up. You don't want to show people that you sped up something that you were speaking. They think like it's important or something. So all this time, I'm not doing anything important. There, I'm just looking at my notes, right? Fix my hair. <laughs> fussing with my fussing with my pens and, and that kind of thing. Go tell. None of it. None of it mattered. None of that mattered. We don't need to speed it up. We just got rid of it. A simple and incredibly common first step. Okay, that's some acting stuff that I need to work on. Stop talking while drawing because they can start squeaking. Now you Trying to cut right as I'm done talking but before the marker starts squeaking. Just cut that out. It's, it's alright. Now it's like this. Boom, you hardly even notice. I've drawn the line really fast. And it's there. We're done. On a soil based production, you don't want anywhere for, for weeds to come up and through except and just make a hole for your plant. Here, you don't want anywhere for water to splash up and through and just make a hole for your plant. This also has an added advantage. 
had a benefit, of course, on cutting down on evaporation, but really, we just don't want transmission. I am writing, and then I exit out, but then I touch my nose. Scratch my nose. Man, that's like a really bad thing I've been doing. But especially if you're going to be speeding this up, this is the reason I'm like now cutting it out. Not that I'm trying to be like, I never itch, but like speeding this up, blasting through it, you can't really, you, it looks maybe like I picked my nose. I'm kind of like behind the letters as well. I promise it's just like thumb, wait, here we go, thumb to the outside, right? Like just a dit, dit, dit. But watch, if we, if we speed this up, Kind of looks like, oh, does he pick his nose and then touch those markers and then touch his face? And you just barely saw my hand move to my nose, yeah. So, uh, control Z, take out that speed. Keep it on while I'm doing the thing. X out the thing, cool. I'm putting the pin down, delete, touch my face, get ready again. Get rid of that, speed up this. It's not. It's not a polishing of the self to look perfect. It's removal of distractions to keep the focus on the lesson. It's boring enough to be watching some video of someone trying to teach you something most of the time, yeah. Um, so here we don't we don't want anything where it's like able to be distracted by like, oh, did he just pick his nose and now he's like I just the whole thing I just said and then touches the markers and then draws and then like keeps touching his face and. We just don't want the, the space for those thoughts. We just this go on. This barrier also helps address a lot of the other ways that these contaminants typically cross over into the human realm. So for employees, just keeping you... That was pretty halting, a little bit long. ...over into the human realm. For employees... Just, just as good. You, Again, keeping, keeping the, the focus. Worker, Taking out the word fumbling, giving a cleaner delivery, especially for people who aren't as familiar with you or your language. Okay, and then cut here. Uh, it's just better to have a you know cleaner speech, not these us and you knows that I'm and that I'm laying down right here. Okay, tested it, didn't use it. All right, we're going to skip up to about here. Get rid of that. Because I don't need it, and it's just taking up time. Even if we're speeding it up, it's still taking up time. I'm drawing, I'm drawing. People kind of like that. And I will stop it before I kind of do this thing where I put my face in front of it. All right, speed it up. Right, we're still trying to be personal, relatable. I'm still a person over here, I'm a human. Look, I can do kind of things like, yeah, we're doing this virtually online, this is a digital lesson, but, uh, you know, I'm still real. I st I'm not some robot. Not yet. I haven't robot ro uh, automated teaching to that degree. Yeah. All right. Basically, I'm I'm taking my cues from the audio track this whole time. Um, it's either something that needs to be cut out because it's dead air, like all this popping my knuckles. None of this matters. Then I start writing. There we go. I start writing. I kind of get ready. So we'll we'll trim this up, and we'll speed this up. Zoom back in. This is, I'm getting kind of decent at this part, where I start writing, and then I, sh and then I do it like, you know, separate actions, so it's just cleaner. Um, it makes this easier. 
I can speed up all the parts that are slow, but I don't have the audio crashing. Like, like I, you think maybe you can make it faster if you're talking while you're drawing, but it messes up the audio. So you draw and you talk separately. So this is my drawing. Still has some audio happening because it's all just stuff nobody needs to hear. Uh, and then I'm back to not drawing anymore. Do I need two cutting roots? Probably not. And I kind of like. So what's going to happen afterwards? Since I know how I, I edit these videos, what's going to happen afterwards is these sped up parts. I'm going to grab the video and overlay it on top of this. Leave the audio behind. Get rid of it, and lay this over. So one of these sides is going to lose. Whatever. We'll make that decision later. little bit more of a break. Yeah. Not bringing any water with you. If you choose to keep the there, roots, it feels past, better. Especially depending on your like I'm trying to do this fast. I'm trying to get this video edited, especially now that I'm recording it for you all. Uh it's making this even longer, but I'm trying to get through this. But you have to remember, someone's watching this. They're not rushing. Like I'm they're not you know, on edge like this. This needs to be slowed down. Even as I'm speaking and giving these lessons, I need to slow down. There we go. We'll leave all this. Another point of the break, you know. We can always cut it as we come back for the next next pass. Do, 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 do. I am erasing, blah, 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 I'm erasing, that all looks cool. People are going to be fine with that. It's another, just something different to see. All right. See, I'm, I'm kind of repetitive. I, this is a part I'm, I am struggling with. I say it, then I outro it, then I say it again to kind of like stitch the two together, but I don't need it because... because I overlay the cuts later. But I don't know. More's better. Now I get to choose which one I want. I can use that one when I'm kind of talking and erasing, or I can use this one where I actually am able to, to do that a little bit better. So I think I'm gonna... Yeah, we're gonna get rid of all this. I know I said I gotta keep it before, but that was before the cut, not after I knew. And like I said, we'll be back again a second time around. Second pass. I'm taking a breath because I'm like all excited laying the laying down this lecture. Look at me. <sighs> okay, fucking calm down, Michael. Otherwise Nope. Otherwise, uh a new emerging Alright, there we go. Otherwise, uh a new emerging technique or that's becoming a bit See and again, it's like like the question of to take out these uhs not because I'm embarrassed of them, although I do wish there were less of them. It's more to improve my own pronunciation on this track so that when someone is listening to it, they don't think it's some word that begins with a uh uh. Otherwise, uh, a new emerging See, and we can just we can just pop it down to there. Or honestly, just get rid of that. Container. 
see I'm still opening pins while I'm talking and I wish I could take that audio out but that's okay it's not the end of the world better to not have like the squeaks and stuff look I didn't even write yet all right I'll get rid of all this <laughs> Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. That has, again, the water level. That has, again, the water level. You don't want the water to touch the crop. So that water level is there. We get to rinse the plant. And then when it comes out... Generally don't like to have these little cuts anymore because then it just adds to the number of times that I have to go and like lay it over onto the next one and throw away the audio so if it's just something short I'm get, I'm erring on the side of getting rid of it now we'll just it popping up, just the, speeding along this bucket with the solution the roots might still be wet I mean they're definitely still wet they're probably still dripping however we've now sanitized it we've now given it a quick sanitation Um, could take this out, this part where it's the cap squeaking, but see if I, if you put the cap on or off when you're not speaking, you can just lose that bit of audio as you speed it up and drop the audio, so like whatever, and now that's better. So I don't even need any of this. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Looking at what I'm doing next. Fix my hair. <laughs> Pop my knuckles. You really observe your own habits at, when you're doing this. But then, uh, you know, you don't notice when they're happening. So they just okay, so stay with you. We're almost there. Okay, and then I've just been leaving this in, cleaning the board. I don't know, just, again, just kind of showing more of what's happening, more that, like, I'm a real person, real things happen. People are kind of interested in knowing. They don't have to. It's at the end of the video. They can they can ignore it. But boom, right? Like, I, I just took... It was... It starts at, like, 9.19, goes till 11.33... So it's like two minutes. Speed it up ten times. It's now 9.19 to 9.32, so that's like 20 seconds. And we're watching it right now, you know. It's still just like bit 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 bit. And even a little bit more. So here's the extra clean. Okay. So we're at whatever minute mark we are in the video. This file was originally... Okay, so it took... It took this many minutes for me to narrate, so that did slow it down a little bit, to edit the first pass of 21 minutes. And we've taken it down to like nine and a half minutes. But look, that's before I took out all these gaps, so this is kind of fun. Remove gaps. Boom, it was nine and a half minutes, it's now 7.20 minutes. So that was two minutes of gaps. Uh, so now we're at 7.20, watch, this is the next piece that we do. Zoom in again. This is when I'm writing it. Okay, we're talking hydroponics, so let's... Talk and this is when I'm talking about it, so right click, turn off auto track sync, and be careful, you can, you can mess up the sync now, but push this video over the top, ditch that audio. Now the video starts like this. Okay, we're talking hydroponics, so let's talk about possible 
I end up in the same spot. I'm still doing this talk, but it gives less time of just me on screen with the things that's already happened and like, you know, just cuts down a little bit on how much you just have to stare at my face and lets you watch this happening while I'm talking at you. And we're going to do the same over here. I wrote all, I drew all that. None of this really matters, right? Like I'm just kind of gesturing, okay, trying to yeah, fill sorry, the space sorry. that I'm talking. Just because of how the tracks laid down. Like if I could do the talking while the drawing, I don't know, if I could do all that perfectly, that'd be great. But like I said, that kind of starts messing up the audio. So we take the interesting part to watch, which is the drawing. We take the interesting part to listen to, which is the lecture. We get rid of this. Uh, in this case, we've got kind of like this awkward overlap. Um, so what you can do here is go to the next cut, go to the next cut, hit delete, take this piece, and just pop it over that one. So what we now have is this. So we'll take this one to the far side, Duh. this one to the close side. Um, you can just click, click, throw away. Either way, you're not typically testing for any of these pathogens in your water. You're not typically testing for pathogens. So, see, this is what I'm water, saying. So it doesn't really matter which. I like this one better. Rather than this one. You're not typically testing for pathogens in your water, and so. So I'm gonna probably zoom in, make sure I don't cut that over. Left arrow, delete, get rid of both of these. Um, put that one over this. Get rid of that. And see, this is a real long chunk where I'm just talking, gesturing, ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba. So, like, definitely gonna take up the 118 to the like eight or so seconds that was <laughs> six or so seconds to just give them something else to watch. So there we go, boom, put it over there. And I'm always helpful. trying to speed this up, so. That's also helpful. And I wanted this part where I pose in it, so I'll put this up. Okay, I'm gonna try and stop talking so I can do this faster and just show you what that looks like a little bit more. Okay, so it wasn't that bad. Um, I guess we could turn on a couple of gaps. Now we're down to 7.30, we cut another minute off this way, and 
we're finally done with this cut. All right, putting this into, it came from the raw fuck folder. It's going into the first cut folder. Water born pathogens. Um, 30 FPS, 720, ignore trailing and leaving black. So that means if I was like all the way at the beginning and there was some space here, like uh, watch, I could even do it. Boom, there's like a minute of black space at the beginning. It'll still just ignore it as it starts the export. 